Okay. It only gets better. We got Nick DiPaolo in studio. Hi. Uh, the big uh, plug premiering on Showtime Saturday night at 9 p.m. Nice. Nick DiPaolo, Raw Nerve on Showtime this Saturday. And then it's going to be on uh, iTunes and Amazon? Yeah. So you uh, can download that yeah, shit. Yeah, May 2nd, two days later, I think. That's very exciting. I believe. And I'll be at the Pantages Theater on that night, Saturday night in Minneapolis. Oh, oh. the Pantages. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> uh, that's great. Yeah. Man. Very cool. I uh, I want to clear everything up, too, with the, the people, the listeners. They all think I didn't go to see Nick DiPaolo at Governor's that you night. Didn't. You said you didn't. Oh, shut it, Jimmy. All right. Wait, how I, did this come about? Because Nick tweeted something that yeah, because you, you did yeah. show? Yeah, because I always I did. Said, no, you said no. something to somebody. Yeah, I said I thought Anthony was coming. That's all I said. I didn't yeah. get ugly about it. If it was like a zoo team in Oklahoma, I go, "Where's that fat prick?" That's true. <laughs> AJ, what's his name? The psychic. <laughs> but I didn't. The thing is, I didn't go back because usually, if you come in, you go into the back and say hi or something. <sighs> but I just, uh, who the, f you know, I don't blame you. It's like governor. Oh it, come on, leave you alone. <laughs> leave you to your own <laughs> devices. <laughs> leave me to talk to the middle act. I don't like. This. <laughs> I, uh, no, I don't blame you. Trust me. I'm like, yeah, were you, were you, did you want a date? It was, uh, yeah, me and, uh, my girl went. We laughed yeah. our fucking asses off. It was hysterical. It was a good weekend. I mean, Nick All is, weekend. Nick is great to see live. Those, anybody that tries to chime in with something cutesy gets, it gets their fucking head taken off. And, like, they fire a pea shooter, Nick will come back with a howitzer. It's brilliant. It's called killing an ant with an axe. It's true. That's and what my football did. coach used to say. Yeah. It, no, it was, it was beautiful. It was funny. My, my, uh, great. My favorite really is in the cellar when the whole crowd is go loving him. And then he says something that really comedians would even groan at. <laughs> like, you know what I and mean? And they don't like it. I, like, yeah, like, I, I fucking hope Hillary Clinton's tits fall on <laughs> one lady who's had a breast removal goes, oh, you fucking liberal cunt. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how that went down. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I do. You know what? But that place, uh, right. I, that oh. place, the cellar does that to me. I'm so, I've been there so long and I'm too comfortable. It's like it's your living room. It yeah. Really, it's, I feel like they're invading my sport, which yeah. is not the case. They paid to get in. <laughs> That's why I don't get down there as much, you know. But <laughs> it feels freeing when I'm on a stage, you know, like, you know, on the road somewhere. Yeah. And there's distance between me and the first row, more than three inches. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, and I'm much, you know, I'll let some shit slide, but the cell, it does bring the fucking... <laughs> it brings the beast oh, out. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of rudeness there, a lot of people talking. It's just That's every right. club, because it's a small club, so you hear everything. Is that what it is, that it's a small club? And, and you hear everything, yeah. yeah. Yeah, when I went down there, there was people yapping. And, Shut the fuck up. It's a good up. place to work out, though, because with all those distractions, if it works there, once you uh, get yeah. it working there, yeah. it, it's, it's like my favorite line this kid in New York. <laughs> you can make it Anywhere, <laughs> I, I say that in the mirror, right before, like La Mata, when he with was your light apart. <laughs> yeah. I don't get the, I don't get the cellar. It's a great place, but the room just sucks. For I love the room. No, the cellar, no, that's, no, it's the fucking that's how comedy was meant to good. be. Because it's like the back wall is like only ten feet from it. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a fucking it's, box. It's a weird like se um, uh, yeah. design. Seats like two hundred. I mean, I love it's, it. It's gotten too popular. I mean, I say this obviously mm. not from an owner standpoint, but from, <laughs> from a comedian standpoint. It used to be a great place. Like you get out in the middle of the week and there'd be mm. like 50 people it's perfect it'd be half empty or three quarters full even and you could you know take out notes and take your time but sure. now it's like now it's packed it's oh, like a tourist shit. trap yeah and, and louis shows it every week at the beginning of his show and yeah, the word so gets out and, go. Well, well, let's go to that club that's yeah. on the beginning of louis show that yeah. <laughs> goes down to in an episode and yeah so it's hard yeah. to at least i i don't like I, I still try working on new shit, but it's harder mm. when, it, when it's packed for some reason because you have to stay on top of the crowd. And, yeah, yeah, if you're working on new shit and something doesn't work, and they're just like, oh, yeah, fucking go. Well, you only have yeah 15 minutes, so you know yeah. if two of it sucks, they hold it against you. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go on after somebody kills. Try working out. You knew Diana Ross on the plane, bitch. <laughs> oh no! Did that happen? Oh, Did, that happen? Did, Did you Jimmy? try to concoct something humorous about just that told experience? the truth? It actually usually works, but I mean the couple times it didn't yeah. it really didn't work Ooh. like and i know the energy is just dead when i'm talking and i i, I have no interest in it i know they couldn't <laughs> i'm boring all of us at this point yeah, diana no, ross I, bit with a supreme too. bomb that's pretty funny i say here a symphony or something but it could be snores <laughs> i've been trying to work out an oprah story yeah uh, down there for the last couple of weeks and, and just, you know, it's one night it fucking rips the tits off. Did I do it at Governor's? But and then the it just, kid and, oh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, and, and, and it's kills one night and then the yeah. next night. Because, you know, when it's new and it's kind of a story and not a setup and a punchline. Right, yep. But I, I, I insist. It's been months now and I'm still going, this <laughs> is going to work. You insist on keep Just can, keep can it you, going. It'll can work. Us, can you give us the gist of that? or is that Well, gonna... I, was, I talk about how politically, is there anything more politically correct than Oprah or well, the Oprah show? I couldn't sleep one night. I get up at 3 in the morning. I put it on. And she's telling a story. I'm saying, let's see how politically correct this whole shit is. <laughs> I put it on, and she's telling a story about her and Gail King on vacation in Cape Cod. So the story starts with two black lesbians. That's politi <laughs> politically correct right there. They go on, they go, they on, in my opinion, they're lesbians. I don't know. So they go on vacation in Cape Cod, and uh, they go to this town where there's two white lesbians who have a pie company. How appropriate. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to put that into the uh, joke, but actually, no. There's a dead spot right there. I could use that. And these broads look like Ted Kennedy in pantsuit. I mean, oh, ugly yeah. fucking. And they make pies. And somehow they get one of their chicken pies over to Oprah's hotel room. Yeah. And through security. And Gail King tastes and Oprah, and they go crazy. Two black chicks going crazy over chicken pie. I know. Big <laughs> shot. So some guy down there that works at some company, they put the story in the paper because they went from selling 50 chicken pies to 200 a week. They put the story in the local paper. There's a guy down there has a non-profit company. He hires only retarded kids to shine nails and pick up acorns. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yes. But, but they... <laughs> what company does he run? Sirius XM? <laughs> <laughs> so so he, he calls, he sees the story and he calls uh, the pie company to white lesbians. So let's review. We get black lesbians, white lesbians. And he says, can the kids work at the pie company? Of course, they say yes. So now you get black lesbians, white lesbians, retarded kids making pies. Everybody's employed. Everybody's happy. It's a feel good story. Happy. It's a great you feel good story. Order apple pie, you get a twig cake. But, that's what I said. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm happy. For, no, I'm happy for everybody. But but you want to eat pies that are made by retarded kids? <laughs> no. It's Thanksgiving. You're like I found a chin strap in my cobbler. Like, the fuck. <laughs> Not to be mean, and I'm happy for everybody but me. Um, but it's just so everything's so goody too. Yeah. Yeah. You're happy <laughs> until you get the fucked up pie, is what you're saying. <laughs> it is the politically happy, correct torch <laughs> shit that, that we got to fucking deal and, with. And Oprah has him on the show, the two white broads, oh, right? Oh, wow. And it hooks him up with Harry and David, some pie company who have like a zillion... Uh, email list with a zillion people on it. So now right. they're like making yes. 100,000 pies a month. Retarded kids. And you know the retarded yeah. kids. They're not washing their hands. No, of course they're not. You know, Corky doesn't have Faisal Hex next to his work, <laughs> workstation. Fingers down the back of their pants, scratching their ass. Yeah, then they make, then they're crimping the dough. Yeah, 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 yeah. If a, if a retarded kid's ass itches, he's not going to think <laughs> twice about fucking shoving his finger down there and scratching. Of course it. not. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'll have the blood and fingernail pie, please. <laughs> that stupid old fixed. <laughs> yes, I'll have the dumb bellow special. It's a fucking pie. They mail it in an envelope. <laughs> a big manila envelope with a crushed up pie in it. I found a fucking... dirty diaper in my apple pie. <laughs> so awful. I'm, I'm happy in it. It's a feel good story, but I'm just uh, not a feel good story. I, thank you. At this point in my life, I don't fucking need it. No. I've, I get enough compassion. I'll have two blueberries and one, <laughs> one blithering pie. <laughs> Look at the ladies. He's not kidding. They're all wow. They both look like fucking. Uh, they both look like fucking Lady Di. I think yeah. you would. Yeah. I think you would be. I think you would be considered gay if you had sex with them. Um, yeah, exactly. they, don't, they don't look female at like all. Yeah, I'm happy, Shadow. I'm sure they're nice ladies and they're doing great. God bless you. But I'm just uh, fucking saying. At this point in my life, I don't need to hear that story. The woman on the right looks like fucking Michael Anthony from fucking Van Halen. <laughs> <laughs> fucking ugly basis. Look, look at that. War, even. Del look at the delicious berry pie in front of her. Exactly. It's an, it, it, it wasn't supposed to be an upside down. Cake, but you know how it goes. <laughs> Lemon moron. <laughs> All right, I think that makes flush. A, a lemon moron. Might want to take notes, Nick. I <laughs> want to take notes. You don't have to. You kidding me? <laughs> uh, now we now we work that bit out in public. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> a lemon moron. I'm using, I'm using that Minneapolis. As well. <laughs> that is fucking Sorry. hilarious. <laughs> Oh, quick, other oh. pies. <laughs> what? How about a, uh, a, a strawberry tart? <laughs> it's a shoe fly pie. It really has a shoe in it. <laughs> oh, they are stupid. <laughs> yeah, sure are. Jesus, one blunder after another. It's nothing but a 
comedy of errors over there. <laughs> what happened? We have to close down. Stupid's got his face in the oven again. <laughs> he thinks it's an uncomfortable bed. That's not a pillow, you idiot. It's hot. <laughs> Stop napping on the fucking Bunsen burner, even though there isn't one in the fucking thing. I just couldn't think of another hot thing. <laughs> Uh, are, you, are you sure the number? I'm calling. Are you sure the number's right? Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Yes. I didn't know there was an extra chromosome. In my <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Oh, you fucking! You order a pie. A guy just shows up crying at your front door with a bleeding child in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Punching it. Uh, <laughs> chin scrap in my cobbler. Wow. Uh, yeah. I just want to take home with you today. <sighs> Holy shit, Dick. Let me check, let me try the is it, we are. thumbprint pie. Is that what you're going to be? These pies is so bad because the guys making them got like no brains or nothing. That's good shit. I, Thanks. I'm, I'm happy for everybody in that story. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It sounds, sounds good. Sounds At this good. point All in my around, life, I don't fucking need it. And, oh, everybody, it and I'm it. sure everybody in the audience yeah. is smiling and yeah. clapping. Being like, oh, that's that's story. Story. one night it'll people be people jaded like me who are like, yeah, you're right. Oh, we're tired of the yeah. fucking compassion. Of it. And then the next night it'll be people. Oh, that's it is a good story. And, yeah, yeah. Oh, it is a good. Why is he? Uh, uh, is he making what, fun what of is that? that? Funny. We, we no, should. Uh, we should uh, ask Nick about the Roger McDowell thing. That's oh, where we're know what the Brie Olson thing. Oh, and it's more it's more of a language thing and PC shit and oh, all that crap. A couple of people in the and, and one of your favorites is on this uh, on this case, Gloria couple, Allred. A couple of people in the just, we're given uh I guess giving him some shit. Thank and you. um he said something that was described as a homophobic uh statement, not even a slur or something. I don't even know what it was. Well, I got the audio. So uh, let's we, listen to it's, uh, the where audio. Was he? It's quick. He's uh I where didn't even know his batting practice the, or some shit. He used to pitch for the Mets, yeah. and now yeah, he's yeah. the Atlanta Braves yeah. uh pitching coach. Now he's a life partner coach. Yeah, so he's <laughs> he's on the field during batting practice, getting ready for a game and some shit went down. Mr. Quinn was in the bleachers with his you children know. at batting practice <laughs> when he and his family... <laughs> Don't find the holy names like that. Uh, call me a faggot? Turn off. Emily observed Atlanta Braves oh, no. coach Roger McDowell <laughs> making some extremely rude and homophobic comments to three men who were also in the bleachers. So? Mr. Quinn heard Coach McDowell say to these men, quote, Are you guys a homo couple? Or a threesome, end quote. Oh, oh my God. Jesus! Oh, Whoa! Didn't even say fag or anything like that. A queer. There's something going on, and I'm fucking tired of it. And, and I, we have gay friends. I mean, show business for yeah, Christ's yeah. sake. Of course, as many gay friends as Kelly Ripa does. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with you being gay, but it's about these groups and shit. You're getting yep. a little too protective of yourselves. Yeah. Right. Get the fuck over yourselves, okay? Right. You yeah. fucking faggot. Assimilate to society and just be part of fucking society. That's it. Every I mean, time come something on. happens, everyone wants to be accepted in society, but the second you're accepted, like everyone else is, and someone makes a joke about you, instead of leaving it alone, all of a sudden now you want to be separate again. Yeah, you don't want to be accepted And, and, and not be part of society. You want to be separate and fucking make society pay. I the I, love society. Of Why would you take ass? this case? She sucks. No, we all know she Who sucks. took it? I'm guessing her already. I, I all bet you a lawsuit. It gets better. Oh, yeah, because there's a lawsuit. Then the coach allegedly grabbed a baseball bat and started shoving the small end through a circle formed by his finger and thumb. <laughs> <laughs> wow, why didn't he use a donut? In other words, any male heterosexual fooling around is not allowed anymore. Right, no, right. none that, of that by the shit. Way, the three guys, by the way, yeah. were probably laughing their fucking of balls they off at were. this point. Well, they're and, like, that's the bat we used last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, and the reaction yeah. we had, why was there one guy at the press conference having that reaction? That's right. just fucking funny. Right. It's hysterical. Through a circle formed by his <laughs> finger and thumb, <laughs> simulating well, that's sex. that's how you do it. The coach then allegedly said, "Are you three giving it to each other <laughs> up the? What's <gasps> the word? Up the what? What's uh, the word, Gloria? Up, 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 up the chimney? Is it cunt? Up the British? <laughs> I like to think up it was the Academy, the Mad Magazine uh, the movie. Right. I like to think it was bunghole. Ah, uh, you up think the bunghole? Bunghole? Yes. Can you imagine? Up this is like shoot. seriously. This is you're, you're reprimanding grown men like it's like in second grade. Right? Did you say that? At a ballpark. At a ballpark. They're fucking where... adult ball players right. with adults in the stands 
having a little back and forth exchange like any guy would have with somebody that's yeah, fucking with you. They don't want that. They, they, they want to take testosterone right out of the picture, oh, right? I've been exactly. It for years. Exactly. But that's, there's and, something else going on here. The three guys Roger McDowell was going after, I think, didn't have much of a problem. No, with this. they're not the one with the problem. Yeah. Wait. The story gets better, Nick. The, well, you know, uh, they obviously said something to Roger. Roger's like, "Oh yeah, you fucking homos and doing this and, and that." They probably. And laugh. I think the guys took it like, "Okay, it's just guys doing what we do." It right? was. It was someone but behind there was someone them. Someone else that saw that this whole so shit go down. That, can I just say, was that someone, a I man think, or a woman? I, don't, uh, I think we're gonna it was find a whole out. family, but I'm sure the man wasn't the one that got all upset. A whole, fa a whole family. Let's uh, find out. Let's find out. Gather up the. Let me use the word for uh, crude word for. Just say ass. Your end. I know. There you go. While thrusting his hips forward and backward in a sexual <laughs> manner. This guy is... What's the rule? Roger McDowell. I fucking love Roger McDowell. It is hysterical. I didn't realize he was such an yeah, asshole. But he, he's losing me. Why? He's going too far. Well, <laughs> devil's advocate, but if you're the manager of a professional baseball team... <laughs> he's not, though. He's just a coach. Okay, well, yeah, do you work for the Braves and there's people in the stands? Yeah. And you're fucking going, hey, do you fuck each other in the ass and, <laughs> and putting a bat through your finger and humping? <laughs> That's hilarious. Can it I tell is. You something? It's a ballpark, guys. Yeah, on a yeah, ball it's field. a ballpark. Can Anything I, goes. Right, you're right. In, Jimmy, can I tell you something now that I'm a father? I would have no fucking problem with that if I was with my son. That's behavior I would have no I'd, problem with that. Kids I'll explain method. it to him. <laughs> That's behavior I'd expect from a third base coach. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a man. Is he the <laughs> manager? <laughs> manager? Why? Why is someone like so offended? They got to get glory all red involved. I would have no problem with that. I would explain the shit. It's an easy way to get out of it. You say these are the new signals. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's steel. This is this is bunt, and this is shit on the end of my cock. <laughs> And backward in a sexual manner. You're a sexual man. Coach you McDowell then put up three fingers, <laughs> three fingers, pointing at the men, and in response, some individuals in the bleacher shouted, "Oh my God!" Okay, and that should be the end of it. <laughs> oh my God! Do you think anyone really went, "Oh my God," or like, "Oh my God"? <laughs> yeah, that's hysterical. Yes. Exactly. It's not home. Oh, exactly. oh, but a ball. Park, you wouldn't expect this behavior. If that goes down, uh, most people are laughing their asses off. Of course. This most. Is what, but, but it's this not is about the majority headed, anymore. Yeah, this is where we this are. This is where we're headed. They it's say never oh about the majority. They say, oh my God, when she comes in the room, but it's always followed by, the c*** is here. <laughs> 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 she is a fucking joyless monster. Uh, yeah. I really hate. I hope her clit gets caught in like a. I don't know how a clit would get caught in a fucking bike chain. <laughs> Very easy with her. Yeah. I hope she's fucking changing a bike tire. And uh, hangs out. Steals it. <laughs> hangs out like Turkish taffy. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is just we're 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 doomed. Well, we as gotta... a nation, especially as a nation of men, we're just doomed. It, PC horseshit, and yep. don't, don't come from the right, and it never did. I'm no. not fucking saying that till I'm a no. thousand. We, uh, You're not going to live that long, Nick. I don't know. I did oh, 10 sure. sit-ups this morning. <laughs> we, got one, we, we, we got one more short clip. Oh, let's wrap this up. Huh? Do I look thinner? Yeah. Thanks, Nick. Well, it's the black you're wearing, <laughs> you though, It's thinning. Black. I know, I'm, I'm eating like a fucking... <clears throat> I don't give a fuck. I like when people say nice things to me. Oh. At that point, Justin shouted, hey... There are kids out here. Oh, huh? Justin. Hey. <laughs> Where is this paradise? Everybody's butt fucking. There's children watching. He's got the donut. Oh, she's making me want to go to this place. Oh, Uncle Paul. Yeah, you make the little finger through the whole thing. You show him. That's how you make the big boys happy. Holy shit. So, so I guess Justin's the problem. Justin was the father with the kid probably, right? Yeah. At that point, Justin shouted, hey, there are kids out Yay. here. The coach replied, kids don't effing belong at the baseball park. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think Roger's had it with baseball. <laughs> no, he's just begging. <laughs> just fucking no, he's had off. it with fucking women and children. Exactly. Being the fucking default button in this country. Not being the able fucking to, world yeah. doesn't revolve around you and your fucking kids. I don't give a fuck. And Nick, God going with that, uh, I think what he's saying is something we have said on this show. You go to these sporting events and now it's all, it's all about the children. Yeah, I know. They yeah. they got they get rid of all the stuff that adults enjoy at a sporting event because yeah. it might Guys, offend the child. That that you understand that's that's female think. Yes. Okay, the more empowered women have become in this society, I'm going to say it again and again. The more that that's how we're starting to think. Yeah, oversensitivity doesn't come from a male point of view. No. 
You know what I'm saying? That's a mothering thing that would happen in a ballpark, not a dad. A dad I remember going to the fucking ballpark with my dad and... All I heard was cursing out of him. He was the one. <laughs> and you're on the pitcher's mound crying. Yeah. His father was, his father was Vic Morrow, and then he slapped him on the stand. Then Tanner Boyle fucked his mouth in the tree fort. Good example. You mean the guy who threw spaghetti against the wall? Yeah. Did you the C word? <laughs> I, I just remember hearing, like, other people yelling and cursing and as a kid even finding it hilarious yes. and it was like cool as a kid yeah, you're just like oh my god i've never heard so many got curses years in my life right? it's great it's called growing up you yeah. gotta make the fucking world child proof and risk proof you're what right the, what the fuck are you th- everything's to gotta be fucking put in bubble wrap and 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 all the sockets gotta have the plug things yeah. standing in it like and i mean that in a Kind of generalized term, not literally. I think you should probably, you know, if you got kids, keep the old sockets uh, full. Yeah, I can yeah. tell you. But I can Jesus, tell you, that's not that way, Uncle Paul. Is, that is get, scary. Get, keep the sockets full. But it's just, it's it, we're fucking <laughs> fill them sockets. Yeah. Well, here we go. And Let's cow tow to them. Well, yeah, guys, give it. We've given into it. So yeah. it's our fault. We got thirty more seconds, and I'll just divide you even further. Small park. End quote. The coach then picked up his bat and started walking in a threatening manner towards Mr. Quinn, saying to him, mm. quote, How much are your teeth worth? <laughs> End quote. It's the greatest Actions that ever. we think are appropriate are that both Coach McDowell and the team should be fined, and Coach McDowell should be ordered to apologize to Mr. Quinn and his family and to all the fans and to the city of San Francisco oh for his homophobic, Why is this vulgar, po- and fucking. threatening behavior. Finally, we also believe that Coach McDowell should be required to undergo sensitivity training. Ah, oh, there it God. is, guys. She just knows every hot button. Uh, there it is. It's almost like she's laying it on, yeah. wink, wink. Yeah, it yeah. Is, can she be serious at this point? Uh, uh, really? That can't be serious. Why don't you go desensitivity training for you? <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> so sensitive. Seriously, put her in a fucking... Uh, Apologize to what amounts to an entire city. Well, you heard in there, yeah. it was a, an away game. Yeah, yeah. Of course that's how you Where treat was the it, fucking anyways? home team. San Francisco. San fucking Cisco. Was it not a, ma- not a was smart a move on his part. Park or was this AAA? Uh, Major League, I think. Well, well, was yeah. it? Like Roger McDowell, yeah. uh, McDowell, excuse me, uh, yep, he had to apologize. The but, fake apology. But he is acting, like, you got to say this, Every t- it just kept getting worse. It, was, it wasn't like he just said, hey, you three homos. He did the oh, hip thing, yeah. and he mimicked, mimicked the bat, and, and he said, sh- fuck in the ass, and You're he said, right, I'll knock teeth out. But you know what? We're, not, we're, not, get, we're <laughs> not getting the whole story what they were yelling at him oh, either. Dude, I'm right. sure it was awful. Oh, they're probably firing Where's, the, where's his Push lawyer? Push him over the fucking, yeah. They're probably Push yelling something there. like, no batter, no and, batter, swing. <laughs> <laughs> I yell that a lot. Now we get to the <laughs> football games. Why would they yell that at the pitching coach? Exactly, that's the beauty of it. It's wrong. Because <laughs> he's not a batter, this, and he gets confused. This story has all the features, because now this is something that drives us nuts, too. So they force him to uh, apologize. He apologizes for oh. the you know the gay slurs and all that, right? Yeah. But advocates, including Glad, want Major League Baseball and the team to take more action. If you yeah, apologize, yeah. shouldn't that just be it mm-hmm. sometimes? No, not, it's not enough for so Glad. So you have to apologize <laughs> and also fucking lose your livelihood. Yeah. They want right? fired. So where, why where, apologize then? Where, where is Glad? Where's the headquarters? And why doesn't somebody burn it down tonight? <laughs> I'll, I'll give you fifty dollars if I. Nick is kidding. That. Completely kidding. I'm, I'm only kidding. Nick is not, joking. Not real fire. No, that's what Nick, Nick is does. completely joking. Nick's a I comedian. Am yeah. Of course. Of course. <laughs> they don't have a headquarters. Jesus, no. The the, the apology. Fine quarters. <laughs> Deeply sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that responded to the heckling fans in San Francisco on Saturday. So they were heckling him pretty good, and he finally had it. I apologize well, to everyone for yeah, my actions. Let's gloss over that part of the fucking fight where, where he was getting heckled. That's not important. What a okay. load of shit. And, and here's the shit. It goes, McDowell's apology is a start. Yeah. Why does it have to just be a start? Because he needs that sensitivity training. But the Braves and Major League Baseball must take real disciplinary action and send a message that anti-gay slurs have no and, place and in And after sports. they do that, they better change your name from the Braves, because that's also offensive to Native right. Americans that's, who that's take true. it in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> they do the tomahawk chip. What's that? Uh, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Professional sporting events should be an environment that all fans and families can enjoy. No. But but no. adult males are not no. in, enjoying it because it's That's way right. too family friendly. Yeah, now it's family. Yeah. So w- where's our enjoyment? Yep. Yeah. Not a place where children are exposed to violent threats and uh, discriminatory language. Again, would that ever come from a guy? 
All the legends. You think Ted Williams didn't yell some shit Babe out? Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. Hey, that's Rod Carew. Oh, Joe Dunlady. Babe Ruth would have been on the on deck circle actually putting pine tower and sticking the bat in his ass <laughs> to make his point. He was like, oh, well, he's eating a hot you dog. Like this, with trans right? You like this shit, don't you? <laughs> well, he's smoking a cigar yeah, and trans yeah. fats. Yeah. <laughs> he's eating like a hundred hot dogs. And then he'll serve Mac a home run with the same fucking bat. <laughs> and then Joe DiMaggio would have blackened his wife's eye and went off to war. I'm just listing things now. <laughs> let's not forget Let's not forget Ty Cobb. He, 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 uh, he, he knew how to handle himself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when people ask me about like, what was the Montreal Comedy Festival, I go, how, well, how do you describe your act? I go, I'm like Ty Cobb without the baseball skills. <laughs> Uh, that's fantastic. Yeah, I thought that summed it up. He yeah, was great. Was he? That? Oh, fucking great. I don't like the Love violence him. I'm seeing here. What do, think, what do you think he's saying? Let me see. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, you Hi, how you are you? Have you that? tried you like know, My favorite thing is when uh, they get real tight on a pitcher's face after he gives up a home run. Oh, uh, yeah. You just see him clear as they just go, shit, fuck off. Motherfucker, yeah. 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 Is that Roger McCall? They don't bother covering nah, their mouths nah, anymore. Nah, nah. Oh, that's old. I love when they cover up the whole play. Yeah, minor the play was well there. It's going to be the age. That is that's, all. That's hilarious. Doesn't he throw the grenade to this guy? Is this the guy that crawls on his stomach? I think this guy oh, that was a minor league guy. Look yeah. how he, that's him. Look how that him? Now he's he's marking out with all players. Well, he's making a a real scene. <laughs> fuck it you. He really is being an Look asshole. At that. There's a lot of fuck yous. Uh, he's gonna get. Th <laughs> no, he's looks like he should be third. wearing a drill press. <laughs> he picks up third base. He's walking away with it. What the fuck? I wonder what the story is. Uh, oh, he probably thinks they're big stamps. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking the base. Well, the mail letter to uh, the fucking just, pie company. Just oh. it's, it's very funny, Anthony. Anthony. Watch this. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. Watch this. If he had real gumption, he'd shit on the mound. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> He's low crawling. He's soldier low crawling onto the pitcher's mound. You know, uh, you're gonna love this. Nah, he's look, picking up the rosin look, bag. Look, look. <laughs> throwing it like a grenade at, at the ump. Good shot. That when, was a good shot. When was this? Oh, a few, quite a few years ago. Oh, that is. Did he get in trouble for that? He played. No, he got a remember. sitcom. Phil Wellman. That was posted back in 07. Yeah. That's great. He's I doing a one-man show before. on Broadway. <laughs> God damn, is that funny? Yeah, Jimmy. Yeah, I guess I guess you went a little too Maniac. far. But still, to to ask for his job at this point is ridiculous. Are they asking for his job though? Or no, I haven't heard anyone ah, say they want fired. That's what they're handing at disciplinary actions. What does that fucking mean? They okay. want him out. Maybe they want him to suck off the guys he yelled at. <laughs> suck him off. Roger McDowell's my new favorite fucking ex player. <laughs> this guy then is just taking. <laughs> the other players are laughing. He just took second and third. And then does the big. And goes out kiss and now he's. And good night. He's leaving through the outfield. The two hand uh, kiss and see ya. That guy's in Dutch. That's it. Did oh. he get fired for that? I hope he got rewarded. <laughs> it, looked, it looked like an old clip, so they probably yeah, I just... I think he did. So uh, like, ah, one game he suspension. Did. When's the last time you heard of Phil Wellman? I rest yeah, my case. Yeah. I like to say end all sentences like that. I rest my case, gentlemen. Good old Phil <laughs> Wellman. That's very good. Thank you. That way I we bet your McDowell done. had a few in him. Probably you know? did, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a couple of enemies. Like, yeah. You don't know what happened. He had a fight with his wife. These fucking assholes yelling at me. <laughs> fucking fag. I'll fucking tell them. Uh, hey, you homos. <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> yeah, fucking like the bat. You fucking take it. You guys want a, a small update on Philip Wellman? So yeah, what, what, what happened? Who was that so, guy? Well, he was. Uh, he, he, in 2009, ESPN showed the top ten meltdowns in sports history and judged that one to be number one. Number one, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's well deserved. Good, well good deserved. One. Uh, let's see. He was also brought up to the Major League Braves for a couple of weeks in March of '09. After the incident, before, after, yeah. and then uh, fire him. after the minor league Braves finished the uh, 2010 season with a 63-74 record, Wellman's contract was not renewed. Uh, what happened right after that incident? Does it say? He was given a three-game suspension. Oh, that's it? And what year was that incident? That was 2007. That wasn't, oh, wow. and that was AAA or something. That wasn't, yeah, that yeah, wasn't, yeah. You know, that wasn't, that wasn't the show, no, as yeah, they call it. Was, was I didn't think uh, it was triple. I might, I, might, I might go double on You might be on right, Open. I might go double on that You might be right. There's a little too many advertisements on that. <laughs> hilarious. On the outfield walls. <laughs> Love that guy. <laughs> Fuck. I'm so sick of this. Where's the Mississippi Braves? Anybody know? Oh, is that it? Mississippi, Mississippi, Mississippi yeah. Braves. M I S S I S S I P P I. Double A. -S 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 Topeka, Kansas. I spell Mississippi very well. Yeah, yeah, you do. Very fast. Whew. Jesus. I actually use that to try to get pussy. You're the only one that can spell. Yeah. Mississippi. <laughs> the girl's like, I'm not attracted to you. M I S S I S S I P P I. 
Fucking tired of it. You know, 128 people die in Alabama today? Yeah, it's crazy. What the the, fuck's uh, going on? Tornadoes. Giant fucking monstrous uh, movie tornadoes. Why don't we get them up here? Uh, it's all that whole thing. It's just set up perfectly. <laughs> the Rocky Mountains. Topography. Is that what it is? And, they, and yeah, we the, learned and then the Great Topography. Plains. And uh, for some reason, we don't get them here. Well, we got a touch. Remember last year? Yeah, we, we had did. a couple touchdowns in Yonkers. Yeah, yeah. Remember? Could you imagine? they they got to always send somebody from uh, the Weather <laughs> Channel to go, well, we're going to investigate and see if this was a real tornado. But we never get one of those mile-wide fucking, yeah. those are things that look like they're spinning slow, but they're doing 400 miles yeah. an hour. We don't get those. Is that how fast that shit spins? Oh, oh at least. Uh, wow. <laughs> Motherfucker! I no, I have to pee, but I, I before I, I pee, I'm yeah. afraid I'm going to come back to no show, so I have to plug yeah, something. Why, would, before why would you think that, Jim? Oh, oh I don't really, know. Jim? I can't pee at less happened? than 35 seconds. Oh, boy, it has Watch my seconds. shit, too, will you, Jim? <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> the um, anti-social network is coming to Seattle Friday, July 1st. With Uncle Social. Because <laughs> it's anti-like in um, anti-freezes. So I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's with uh, myself and Burr and Brewer and Attell, and it's at uh, the Paramount Theater July 1st. Tickets are on sale tomorrow. But today there's a pre-sale. Go to www.tickets.com, and the word, this is the password, K-I-S-W. It's on at 10 o'clock uh, a.m. to 10 p.m. on the West Coast. And that's because it's the station call letters for BJ Shea. Yeah, Probably. BJ's uh, supporting the show. Yeah, right? and the show will sell out because it's a big show for BJ. Are we going to so. have him on tomorrow? I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know. Out. I know. I think I have to call it. I like my time He's with still BJ. Out there. I love BJ Shea. Yeah, BJ's all right. All right. Get wildly out. attractive. Get out of here, Jimmy. We'll continue with the Nick DiPaolo here, who's oh, got yeah. a great show. I don't want to leave. Special. Oh, yep. I'll have to take a leak. For two Wait, what's your special? Saturday. Saturday, Saturday night. How'd you get yeah. that? Are they looking for people? <laughs> Raw nerve. What, yeah, do, what do you right. discuss on the special? Uh, all the hot topics? All the <laughs> <laughs> it's, all, yes. I was talking about buttons. I actually talked about this, uh, this Alabama storm fucking uh, a year crazy. before it happened. <laughs> this is how good I am. I, uh, You're you know, a seer. I, it's uh, my, you know, I'll take a, you know, I take a few swipes at Obama, and it, it's, you know, I shit on myself just... and my wife and getting old and marriage yeah. and politically, uh, you know, it'll be refreshing. Good. Yeah, it is refreshing to actually hear somebody uh, talk like Nick does because it's the political correctness is nauseating out there, nauseating. Yeah. And, and then when Nick's uh, on stage and says some shit and you hear the crowd, sometimes they do gasp. <laughs> I'm fucking roaring going like, thank God, thank God. Once I keep waiting to hear a shot though and watch you hit the stage, yeah. well, like somebody don't... just blow your fucking oh, head don't off. Don't give me any ideas. Oh, I Jesus, know. Believe me, I, I think that every day I walk out of this fucking place. Especially, too. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Showtime nine o'clock uh, this Saturday night, and I'll be at the Pantages Theater while the Showtime special's oh. on uh, in Minneapolis. Yes, it's a beautiful theater, and and. Uh, I heard it's pretty full. Yeah, they're very good. So um, they'll come out and see Nick, that's for sure. But yeah, tune in the show. If you don't have it, just order it and cancel it. Yeah, that's all you got to do. I, mean, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Just order it. You know? Order it and cancel <laughs> it. If you don't have it, wrap your mother in tinfoil and put her tits due north on the roof. And pick up bits and pieces. But it came out good. I shot it at Foxwoods. and uh, yeah. uh, Oh, good for it's, you. It's uh, overdue, in my opinion. Good for you. It's about fucking time, right? Yeah, really. Seconds. Yeah, 23 years in. <laughs> Should have had six of these under my belt. Uh, there's no justice. <laughs> nah. No nope. justice. There'll no be peace. no peace. No justice. No, no peace. peace. Right? We get it. Well, we did the Roger McDowell. That's a gr- that's that's a great story, man. I think <clears throat> anytime Gloria Allred's involved, you know, I hate her. Touches yeah. my nerve. I got to yell at her personally. Really? Yeah, it was on Joy Behar. Oh, she was on like remote. Fantastic. She kept calling women second class. I go second class. All we did was take you to dinner and buy you drinks your whole fucking life. What's second class? You. She actually smirked at that. She, she started kind of like and smiling. Yeah. yeah, she, yeah. yeah. Good. Good for you. Uh, Breaking through that horse shit. Uh, trying to. That car. Uh, Bullshit. What else? I, I, uh, the, the royal wedding. We what don't... else? How about a, a fucking Escalade doing 65, <laughs> 70 miles an hour? I'm trying to give Nick a little more time. <laughs> what? No. I'm, I'm trying to give Nick, Nick a little fucking time. Oh God, Anthony's been doing radio for, guys, been in radio for 40 years. Like, fucking got, warm up the truck. I feel like you? I got tuberculosis here. I'm yeah, coughing it's, and sneezing. It's hurting today. All right. Then we, can, we can wrap. We we are live to eleven. If you want to stick around, are you really? It's just different people in here. Oh crap! They're kind of associated with the show. Ugh. 
What do you mean? It's the, they bring in the B team. <laughs> they bring in some of these these kids to do a show. But you won't be here, you mean? No. Som sometimes. No, no. And sometimes. they talk about <laughs> shit. Goes, oh, no. No. Sometimes we're here. Sometimes we're here. Yeah. Here he comes. It's Sam Roberts. Yeah. Yeah. He it's does called the, the shit show. hour. Yeah, we call it the... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, hi, Sam. There he is. We were talking about the shit hour. The kid with it's the fucking fault. hair you don't usually see below 125th what? Street. <laughs> People are asking about your DNA test. Yeah, what, what the don't fuck? we have the results? What are you asking me for? Like, I know this is a secret investigation. I thought we were supposed to have it weeks ago. But I'm not part of we're it. We're trying to figure out if he's black. We man. DNA tested him and sent it out and had it uh, returned we're, all to we're see trying if to figure he's not black in him. If he has black blood I'd in say, him. yeah. Yeah, there's something there. He says his family is... <laughs> that that <laughs> fucking hair is not because of the humidity. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's humidity in the Congo, maybe. <laughs> Look at the shrub. It's like, you know, it's like yeah. Queen Latifah's shrub. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he was related to... No, Thomas Jefferson. TJ. Thomas Jefferson. He really? traced the family roots back. And you know what Jefferson was doing. He was out there banging like a motherfucker. Oh, absolutely. Banging the slaves. It yeah, wasn't just them. about the corn and the fields. No, that's for when sure. When you go to the annual picnic, which side, oh, house girls. Which, which side of the field are you on? <laughs> We're not going to any you annual go to the, the, which, which side? Because they do. They have the uh, Thomas Jefferson family reunion, which used to be right. a big event. with, the, And then they started allowing the other side of the family in. But they allowed them on just the other a, side of the right? It was a big motherfucking yeah. cookout, yo. Yeah. Big cookout. <laughs> you know how many? Miserable, uh, those old white people must have been. Hated it. To see, uh. Because it must have been like a big. Well, well, again, we meet for Thomas Jefferson's. Uh, our whole family is back together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we is. <laughs> Part of family, too, now, motherfucker. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Uh, back to checking the family tree. Uh, <laughs> Thurgood Marshall or something. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Get along at the family picnic slash cookout. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Yeah. yeah totally. Have you ever been to one? No. Are you, you, been a cookout? Are you Would you be invited? You're strapped, yo. <laughs> never You'll be strapped at a cookout until you ask your black niece to get you a can of coke, and she fucking <laughs> gets enraged. Get my ribs on. <laughs> what is this? 1862. You get yourself. <laughs> Come on, get a plate. Get on that. Get on that. Get, get on that. Me. What? I'm eating. Get on that. Oh, fuck, the world's ending, and we didn't even give a shit enough to fucking play it. Well, is that today? What is it? May 21st? Oh, yeah. May 21st. The world ends. We, we got, got tomorrow. We got I fucking days. paid my right. bills. We got shit. a few days. I didn't have to pay my bills. No way. Guess I won't be doing that gig. Yeah. <laughs> Florida on the 25th. <laughs> <laughs> That's, oh, shit, and I booked Red Eye, too. So did I. Wait, I think I'm on Red Eye on the 21st and the 25th. Oh, that's going to be a good one, though. Uh-oh. You guys will is be that the end of the world that? day? Yeah. Yeah. Shit, That's yo. Well, I don't know what time it is. What better people to fucking perish with? Yeah. Greg Gutfeld. Absolutely. Bill Hill Schultz. Schultz. Andy Levy. And some fucking chick with nice gams. Yeah. <laughs> Crystal Ball. <laughs> That's who I was on with, Les. I was on with Jedediah. Jedediah. She's got nice legs on her. They all do. Girl. It's amazing. They put him in the leg seat. Mm. Yeah. That's some right. of those, some of them got, got nice legs. His <laughs> name's Michael, like yours. <laughs> people saw Q&A. <laughs> all right, we gave Nick his extra time now. No, all right, it's time cool. to go. Yeah, it's all about me. Oh, oh, come on now. now. We would have been we're, out of here. We're just yeah, showing right, you respect. Five, five minutes and over. We got ten minutes ago, Nick. And you know what's sad? I get. I have to stick around because I'm doing a little, you know, oh, serious shit. thing. I have like three or four shows to get until like two o'clock. All right, well, we'll promote uh, the fucking gay channel. <laughs> I did that one. How was that? A couple years ago. Yeah, I had a ball in there. Yeah, I bet two balls probably. Yeah. Do they like you? Yes. Oh, for this, yeah. yeah. You guys, sorry. I was just being you softening your delivery a little bit. Uh, no, them? I said, listen, cocksuckers, get some, <laughs> give me some coffee and let's talk about uh, the weather. <laughs> no, no, they're actually very good. Uh, we, yeah, yeah. People over there, I don't have we a have no. problem with. I, I just problem. when they get in groups and start fucking whining like yeah. lad, you know, yep. fucking... and they start typing shit out and sending uh, press releases. Yeah, that type. Yeah. Come on, Look, we all get bullied. Get the fuck over. I'm yeah, sick yeah, of hearing that too. Humor. We've we've got to the, we've gotten to the point where we don't mind if they're in the you know the men's room with us so i feel like i'm grown as a person. i actually back tolerant. off and show off yeah i used to back <laughs> off and wait and yeah. stuff but now it's like all right i think i can do this i think i could fucking piss next to yeah. a gay guy now <laughs> i let my cock get weighty yeah there you go. yeah when there's Heavy. a gay guy pissing next to me at the urinal next to me i turn around and take a dump right in my urinal <laughs> just, just to show him that i'm not afraid of any it's enticing but well, we got metal walls in our <laughs> oh, that's men's right. room does it smell like a dead monkey in there still it's, it's terrible. Oh, no, that was the other building. The other building was horrible. Oh, no, no, no. the other building. This, oh, it was 
terrible. This, this one too. This fucking bathroom. We talked about it. Might be you guys. We don't know what happens when we're not here <laughs> overnight. The animals don't flush. It's ridiculous. How it it's looks crazy. like a Port Authority bathroom just or something. Fucking flush What's the toilet. People. There's no reason to walk into a stall, open the door, and just see a big load of shit right. with toilet paper on. Just fucking. Well, how angry it. are you that the shit is on the actual seat? I, that's another thing. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ! I just got queasy with that story. It's, it's I'm not awful. even. I'm, I, we've seen awful. this. When you leave the everywhere stall, the on the floor. floor. See, now that's like, what Gloria Allred should be going after. Right. That type of behavior. <laughs> People leaving shit in the ball. Yeah, that I go, go after Pissing. that. Make that your cause. Yeah, really that, I think everybody will get behind see that. Nobody wants a chocolate frap. <laughs> frap. Boogers on the walls. Oh, I know. Oh, the boogers on. on the walls. Fucking yeah, animals. That happened when I used to work at Free FM. Somebody kept, like, and they were fresh. What Wipe kind of it. fucking mental illness is that? It's like, that and it this, tasted like a cold if you There's toilet that. paper right next to you. <laughs> that was Tom Chiasano. He was guilty. Oh, he did that. Yeah, he was guilty of putting a snot everywhere. <laughs> it's the show who's it's, boss. It was weird, man. Nick DiPaolo. It is Raw weird. Raw Nerve premiering on Showtime Saturday night, 9 p.m. Congratulations mm, on that, sir. So. Nick DiPaolo on Twitter, nickdip.com, and the gig in Minnesota. Yeah, is, Pantages Theater this Saturday night. That's awesome. 7 o'clock Minneapolis time. It's just fucking business. You think this chick is hot? That <laughs> <laughs> big load. That wasn't yours, right? Of course yeah. it was. Who Get else, out of here. Who else is shit when I have on my phone? <laughs> yeah, really? yeah. What are you kidding me? <laughs> you can download anything today. You got a pre toilet paper. So. What are you working at Dairy Queen? <laughs> <laughs> Dupe of fucking cream on that. It's Holy a shit. A dollop. I look like a cobra from Africa. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, that's... If I played, played a flute in front of it, that thing come out of the toilet and kiss me on the nose. What, you mean like that one? <laughs> That's no, not yours either. So I'm the question you, mark that's here. A ta- that's a dog's <laughs> tail, isn't it? <laughs> what you do? Flush a German Shepherd <laughs> down the top? Let me see if I can. With everyone, Jim. Let me see if I can. What I can? Yeah. yeah let's. Uh, no, I don't have it it's on. It's in the uh, shape of his intestine. Yeah. Uh-huh. What are you eating? What's that? Bully? What is that one? Let me see. I have very good duties. That's a, <laughs> that's a perfect it's impressive. Uh, yeah, and I think Sean Connery is actually piloting that one. <laughs> Sick. I have good shits. <laughs> now, I wouldn't even use your phone now. To put it, I wouldn't put that phone right to my ear. Yes. Because you know he took pick and put the... Right in there. Get you the know, clothes I'm out. making fun of retarded kids making pies. <laughs> he's, You're he's making metal that. muffins. That's my own cum that I licked out of my hand on a video. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with uh, him? We, we've been trying to figure it out, Nick. It and, and nobody reprimands him for this type of shit. A girl asked me to do it, so I did it. If you got, you know, a clue, a girl, please. Oh, yeah, no. A girl, a girl wanted to watch me lick my cum, and I did. There you go. It was yeah, very right. dirty. And is your sister still around? Listen. No, I she would never ask that. <laughs> Anything else, Nick? Uh, yeah, so now that I'm sick to my stomach. Jesus, you guys even gross me out. Why? I know. Why? Disgusting. That's not a good one. What is that? <laughs> That's not shit. I see, Jim. That's a sloppy Joe. Are you starting to use props now? Oh, God. Jimmy's using props in his I'm toilet. Wor- what are you fucking serious? That's another, a couple of heavy piles of shit. <laughs> you might, you might, you might want to get that checked out. That one's no, but I'm, I'm getting worried about me because my shits are like a half inch in diameter. Yeah, like, my shits oh, are fucking. Shit. I take a what? man shits. A man, a six hundred pound man. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I've yeah. never seen anything the like fact that. That he has so many pictures. Please, I deleted a lot. I missed those. You should put. Say, do you ever put those in frames and hang them in your living room <laughs> and just have company over? That's fine. Don't art. say anything. <laughs> Right. You have a chick over. That's hilarious. Funny you should ask, Nick. Uh, I used to take Polaroids in my logs, and I took two Polaroids, and I had them on my fucking dresser where I lived with my parents. Yeah. And my ex-girlfriend and her female cousin came over, and I forgot I had the pictures on them. <laughs> so we walked in my room, and they're like, what are these? I know it. And they both saw my shit pictures. I was so what embarrassed. What did you tell them? It's a covered bridge in Vermont. Yeah, I was like, ah, it's just a thing I did. Forget it. It's a dumb thing I did. The yeah. bridges of Madison County. <laughs> I tried to fuck one. It didn't work. Holy shit, yeah. man. <laughs> like a scene in Ghost. He's, 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 he's got his hands in it, but his boyfriend's behind him. He's shaping it. I don't know. I, now I'm, I'm worried about my colon health. Seriously, yeah. if that's how my shit's supposed to be that, you know. Well, I don't know. That's yeah. Shit's supposed to be thin. Huh? Man. Shit is very diverse. Thin. Yeah. No, I know they're not. They're supposed to be. Well, you hear those infomercials. I watch those. Yeah, yeah, Shits yeah. are like snowflakes. Yes. They feel good to get in your hair <laughs> <laughs> and on your eyelashes. You catch them on your tongue. You'll be killing them. You'll be knocking planes out of the skies with those fucking. <laughs> Jesus Christ. One of them said Barry Bonds on it. <laughs> 
Holy shit. I've taken some I very big, it. meaty ones. I hate the shit piles. What are you eating? Can I ask you? I'm sure, very curious. I eat tabbouleh every night. I eat pretty healthy. I eat egg whites in the morning. Yeah. A lot of grilled chicken and asparagus steamed. And uh, my body responds by going, hey, thanks, Jim. Here's a log. <laughs> a log? <laughs> a log cabin? <laughs> Jesus. There's no better feeling than when you see one of those mighty shits periscoping out of the toilet. I'm glad to know my asshole's not that stretched. I could never handle one of those. Good, perfect God. consistency. They're like, a to they're like toothpaste. <laughs> they fucking are amazing, my shits. He loves his shit. Who doesn't? Jim will be talking about this on Meet the Press Sunday morning with <laughs> yes. Jim. What with, are the uh, Cokey Rudd? What do they call you again? I, I I I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I just get queasy. The, uh, cocksucker? Well, not cocksucker. Oh. I know they call. That show was filthy. I'm not uh, coming the, here anymore. I know. The I'm completely embarrassed, me. Nick. <laughs> What's that? What do they call you again? I know you have a name. Or a the play Playboy. What? Playboy. The play shit. dough machine. The what? The shit. <laughs> the the. <laughs> The <laughs> you do know the owner of the shit emporium? No, no, no. no. Oh, I was going this. Oh, oh the ship salesman or something? Oh, no, that's... <laughs> he's so he fucking. Oh, wait. I know he is. You mean the shit pusher? Uh, no, no. Like when they either. try to push it in, I push it back in there. Right, oh my god! I guess maybe you don't have an. You'll push for that. it out, and right. I push it in like a like a damn one of them ice pops, <laughs> like a pop up. <laughs> you push it out, I push it in. Something, <laughs> something key. Speaking Dude, of packing your shit. Duty wars. Thanks, Thanks, out of here. All right, that's fucking right. packing my shit. We're not gonna get the nick. The whole the room smells like desitin and powder. <laughs> right. You push it out, I push oh, it in. God. That's how they know I was bad. When the hole of my wee wee is all filled in with it, <laughs> yeah. cement. You, you are what the fuck? fuck <laughs> I had to snake out my penis hole. <laughs> you were sitting next to him. It was packed like with clay. How do you not? Does anybody listen to your show anymore? Because you guys would be arrested, wouldn't you, when you left the building after this type you of chatter? Yeah, yeah. You would think. You would think. Holy yes. shit. There's it's no crazy. better sound than that little Velcro Nick, thing. Nick's nervous. When the tape comes off. Nick's nervous. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't I don't do much either. duty stuff. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not going to be cutting that out of the replay, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's roll. Thank you, Nick DiPaolo. Uh, Yes, so for more shit talk. Yes. Yeah, yeah. See you guys tomorrow. We're talking colon health. <laughs>